Hi Sharks, I'm Chris. And I'm George. And we're here to offer you a chance to invest 35,000 euro in exchange for 10% in Happy Pot. Like a pot, but happy. Chances are, if you have any plants at home, they're probably made of plastic, they're flimsy, they're weak, they're boring. And not only that, but they're also ridiculously harmful for the environment. In fact, most of them are non-recyclable. Just last year, 500 million pots were in landfills or incinerated in the UK alone. So seeing that this was a massive problem worldwide, myself and George set out to create a product which is not only cool and unique, but also brings about a newfound appreciation for the natural world around us. So by now you're probably wondering what makes our pot so much happier than everyone else's. A few things, actually. The first of which is endless customizability. So these pots are available in three different sizes and 15 vibrant colors, and this badge is endlessly customizable. Uh, our consumers can choose on our website between our standard collections, much like the Valentine's Day collection, which you see here, the Bare Necessities collection, and a few others. Uh, they can also choose to add their own custom initials or even literally any design of their choice using our interactive 3D customizer on our website. What that means for our corporate clients is that they can also add their own custom company logo onto the badge, onto the front of the pot, and use them as cool, sustainable workplace gifts or uh, decorations. Besides being customizable in design, the Happy Pot is also customizable in functionality. With the use of NFC chip technology, which may be embedded in the Happy Pot's uh, badges, you can make your Happy Pot do anything you can think of. With a single tap of your phone, you could start a one hour productivity timer. Or if you're stuck at your desk and you don't know what to listen to, you can tap and stream your favorite Spotify playlist. At night, you can tap on the Happy Pot next to your bed and initiate a sleep mode, guaranteeing yourself an undisturbed good night's sleep. Last but not least, Happy Pot is happy because it makes the world happy. Our ultra sustainable production methods consist of the use of sustainable raw materials, which are derived from recycled bioplastics. Most of these are biodegradable. Also, the use of 3D printing technology is highly efficient. In fact, a single 3D printer uses as much wattage as two light bulbs. Every second, an area the size of a football pitch is lost to deforestation. So, we are planting a tree for every pot we sell. We are also helping our B2B clients achieve their corporate social responsibilities by inviting them to tag along on our tree planting initiatives locally and also our cleanup services. We've also teamed up with a couple of local NGOs that supply us with cuttings and saplings of endemic trees, which are also becoming endangered, that we can use on our B2B bulk sales. In the four months that we have been live, we have partnered up with various companies across various fields, name it uh, marketing agencies, uh, real estate agencies, media houses, to provide them with corporate gifts and workplace decor. Most recently, we've even worked with a real estate agency on Malta's first ever functional trophy. So we designed a trophy shaped like a house, which is also a pot, uh, and planted 74 trees in the process just with, with that say. Naturally, with your investment, there are a few fundamental changes that we would be putting together within the next three to six months. The first of which would be to optimize our online presence. Now, as it stands, our web store and our socials are the only place online where people can interact with our website, buy our product, and subscribe to our movement. So we'll be optimizing our e-commerce store. We'll also be investing in automation services so that the sale is as quick as possible, and also lead generation, both locally and overseas, so that we may reach out to corporate clients as efficiently as possible. Secondly, as the demand grows, we'll be needing to invest in a few more 3D printers so that we'll be able to keep up with the demand that, uh, that we need. Therefore, we'll be investing in 11 more 3D printers, as we just got our first one last week, so that we'll be able to uh, guarantee quality control, guarantee lead times, and even reduce costs, all while planting as many trees as possible worldwide. If all goes to plan, our goal is for Malta to be our smallest market. Although we started here, our sights are set on internationalization, and uh, we think that we have the guts to do it. As Happy Pot truly continues to grow, our biggest goal is to achieve Operation Full Circle. This entails Happy Pot becoming fully circular, wherein the, pro the materials we use to produce Happy Pots are the very plastic we collect on our own initiative. This innovative concept will cut costs significantly as we turn waste into resource. As you can see, we have come quite a long way in just four months, and there's a much longer way to go. So we hope one of you, or all of you, will join us on our journey to make the world a happier place, one pot at a time. Thank you very much. Thank you. I'm doing great. <laughs> so, well done. Thanks. Very nice product. I recall you had came already here, Chris. Yes. So yes. it's very nice to see you again. Thank you. 
Um, uh, um, I would like to kick off by seeing a bit more details about the financials. So, so far, do you have some assets? Like you're asking 35,000 for 350 valuation. Um, you mentioned some printers. Do you have some assets there already? Or? So, uh, in terms of sales, we have generated just over 6,000 euro in sales in the four months that we have been active. Okay. We just broke even from the money that we put into the company ourselves, which is just over 5,500 something. So we're in the green as of a couple of weeks ago, thanks to our Valentine's Day collection. Uh, as for property, plant and equipment, we outsource all of our production to a local 3D printing farm. But we just bought our first 3D printer a couple of weeks ago, assembled it last week, and we printed our first few pots with it. And the goal is for us to obviously be able to sustain ourselves rather than have to outsource. But for the time being, we see that outsourcing is necessary as it allows us to focus on product development and business development. There's a premium to be paid, fair enough, but we don't have to worry about rent, we don't have to worry about utility bills, we don't have to worry about prints going wrong. There's, there's a lot of upsides to outsourcing. So I would say, Within the next year or so, we'll be looking at a hybrid solution where we'll be outsourcing some of our production and producing some of them ourselves. Uh, and eventually, we will be self-sufficient. So that, that is, in fact, the goal. How are you outsourcing this? So we found a local supplier. Um, it is the largest 3D printing farm in Malta. He's the largest 3D farm? Yes. How big? Indeed. 150 3D printers. And naturally, they're not always disposable to ourselves because he has other clients, which is why we're looking into purchasing our own printers. But he loves you or, uh, quite or you're quite a significant? I, I, like to, I like to think so. Huh? I, I'm no, quite I mean, I mean you represent quite a lot of his business or? Mm. Uh, I, I, we're a very good client. We work together quite closely. I think he understands the passion that we have for the project. I have a few more questions to ask. Sure. So 6,000 euros is how many pots? That is around 320 pots in 320 four pots. and a half months. Yeah. 320 pots. And that, how, uh, how many of that is local? How many of that is foreign? All of them are local. You mentioned that by pressing this, we have some new creations. Can you explain that a bit better? Really and then I'm going to ask you a bit more about both of you, sure. and, and I'll let you guys do and more. Yeah, your phone. As soon as you tap your phone and it finds the NFC chip, that's going to take you to one of our Spotify playlists. Please, please carefully work. curated please work. Please work. psychedelic rock playlist, which is my personal favorite. So wait, actually, because I just have to go on it. No, it does. It, you just need to tap your phone against the Sorry. chip. Against the badge. Open link. Okay, went to Spotify. Yeah. Hello. So, how does this work? So basically, the NFC chip technology is like a QR code, but it works with contact. Every time you put your phone near the chip, it, it gives you a prompt to go to the link that it's attached, that is embedded in the chip. And How would I do the part where I switch off for the night my phone goes off? That's a different program. So every chip can be programmed to do a different function. How many functions can one chip do? Endless. You can call your mother by a single tap. You can... So let me reverse. The night mode. One last question. So what is the average price per pot you're selling? The small one, which is the very, very small and the tiny, is for 10. The medium is for 15 and the large is for 25. And um, what is the cost, including the NFT chip? So the production cost for by print, this tiny one is 375, the small one is six, and the large one is... Guys, ask, because I'm going to give an offer. Nine. Do you do this on a full-time basis or... Part so, time? unfortunately not. Uh, George is currently doing his masters. That's what we are going... That's, that is what we need the investment for. So far, we have done Happy Pot on a part part time basis Bo both chris and i are fully fully are full time employed i myself am in a full time uh, masters course chris was also working on his own initiative therefore we are looking for the investment along with uh, benefits that we could get from malta enterprise in order to put more effort into this business we are certain that if we without even being part time employed in this company, you have taken it so far. So we believe that if we have at least one of us as full time within the company, we can hit exponential growth with some, with some investment. So, so where do you guys see this going? I mean, <clears throat> you said Malta will be one of your smallest markets. Tell me, well, in five years time, how many units would you so expect the, to be selling? So the market for uh, pots and garden, gardening equipment has been on the rise since 2017. It is growing at three, it had grown at three percent compound and will growth rate up to 2020. It grew marginally more during COVID-19, um, and it's expected to grow all the way through to 2030. However, we are not only we are not only aiming to enter the market as a pot. We are we aim to enter the market as a gift. Okay. 
which, which would make us even more um, competitive. Yes, but how are you going to get to them? How, how will customers know about you? Let's, so, say you, you? let's say you choose the UK as a target market. What would be your plan there? How would you market yourself there? So first of all, the pot in itself uh, caters not just to consumers like you and I, but it caters also to businesses. So as, as you can imagine, besides the full customizability of the badge itself for a birthday gift, a Valentine's gift, or a Mother's Day gift, there's also the opportunity to do corporate gifts, uh, workplace decor for every company imagined. Great, you're focusing on the features of product, which right. is fantastic. And B2B. But, um, I mean, I'm not aware of the benefits that this product ha has, sorry, um, and, and, you know, how am I going to find out? Will you be selling on Amazon? Will you be uh, targeting uh, the big garden shops in the UK? I'm, I'm taking the UK as a, an example, okay. right? So I mean, how will you get to market? Because that's one. the hardest part. You, you've, you've done the, you know, the, 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 obviously the, with, with our inventor here, you know, you, you've done uh, the product. Now, um, getting to the market, it's, 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 it's often the most overlooked part of the value chain, right? But it's the hardest. Right. I agree with you. Having a product and not being able to market it correctly is like having nothing at all. Uh, in fact, we are at square one, and it's quite a good square to be in, to be honest. Uh, as for going to market locally, uh, we're continuing to marketing, marketing it as organically as possible. In fact, we've amassed a decent following with very little marketing spend. So if we were to ramp that up, I'm sure that we'd be able to, to get quite a bit more traction. Internationally, the first place where it would be very interesting to sell would be Etsy. So Etsy is a marketplace for similar handmade, craft, uh, interesting type of goods. Very different to Amazon, where there is uh, kind of pretty much everything. Etsy is more focused on these kinds of products. Similar 3D printed pots have 10,000, 20,000, 40,000 in sales in just over two, three years. So the market is there. It's, it's aching to be... Have you made any rest. contacts so far? Uh, internationally, we have outlined three possible suppliers in Italy, which we can speak to in order to start production with them. So far, we focused locally because, first of all, Malta is a very good pilot project for anything. So we'd like to perfect our business model and ensure that there is a demand. That being said, Malta is quite a conservative market, so justifying the price tag is different than doing the same in the Netherlands, for example. Uh, but when we internationalize, which we will, we want to do it right. I, I mean, it's a, it's, it's a fantastic novelty from where I stand, you know. I, I don't think it has anything that, you know, will uniquely protect you in the future. So, as far as I'm concerned, I'm, I'm out, but I'm always... But I can react if, to that. If, so. Where do you stand with the product range? Mm -hmm. Is it just these spots? Small, I think, medium, large. No, no, because I think they don't want to invest, because I'm the only one that didn't get it. Let me give you a <laughs> give, the, give her the biggest one. I have to give her the biggest one now. <laughs> From me to you. <laughs> Sell no. her one. Uh, right. <laughs> no, I'm joking. Um, oh, with the teddy bear. Beautiful, Tap beautiful. it, see where it takes your phone. <laughs> <laughs> Seriously, not um, Just give me a second, because I want to invest. So okay. I need to ask. Yep. Is it just spots? that you would like to... Bravo, Chris, so, you just hit on the nail. Um, right now, we're focusing on pots. I'm focusing on pots because this is the first product we landed on. You said on. you just want pots? No, we're focusing, focusing on pots, on pots just right. for now. All right, that's uh, we're, fo we're sticking to these three sizes, although we can make any size that we want because 3D printers are endlessly versatile. But you said you're interested in the gardening aspect. Exactly, gardening accessories. We're the lead partners in um, a company that does all the landscaping. Okay as in maintenance of um, all the roundabouts and some of the gardens in Morton Gozo. So I'm very interested in this sector. I've learned a lot over the past year. Okay. So have we. Um, but I would invest if it's not just pots. It's not. At, at this point in time, we're focusing on pots because we're perfecting the pots. Moving forward, we're going to be doing gardening accessories, but I'd urge you to look beyond just the product because beyond the product, we offer a service. We offer companies a chance to make their CSRs fulfilled. I'm seeing this as a B2C, nice. not as in not just a B2B. Right. I'm looking at B2C as well. Right. So. Yes, in fact, Chris was studying marketing. I study public policy. And with Happy Pot, we infused both our passions. Chris cares about lo cares lots about about aesthetics, about making a product that looks different and that is liked. That's what sells. But I am more in I am more high I am more interested in the high and mighty, and I am very interested in the concept of sustainability. The 
no, says to. The concept yeah. of helping companies achieve their corporate social responsibilities is a ripe market that is that, that needs to be addressed, and we would we, we would very much like to address that. Beyond the pot, we the pot is only the icebreaker in developing a relationship with a with a corporation. After you have branded pots and you've planted a couple of trees, it doesn't stop there. We will be inviting these companies to pitch in in our pro environment initiatives. More than that, as as environmental standards continue to generate importance near enough to financial standards, there is a market that needs to be that, that would need to be addressed, and we would very, we would very much like to help companies become more sustainable. Okay, I'm going to make you an offer. Let's go. Please. So you asked for 35k for 10 percent, and I'm willing to give you 35k. You asked for for 25 percent, and I'll make available to you immediately a loan of 100,000 euros at 7% interest rate. Right now with the bank is a bit, but you need money to grow this. I really would love to see you guys to see what you're gonna do. 10% for me is not, like it has, I have to have some skin in the game. So, so 35K for 25% and putting it on the table straight away, 100,000 euros for you guys, for Happy Pots to grow. One of you needs to be committed. Um, I'm, I really want to do this, part of the investment I think like, like, like Christabel said, is B2C is very strong. I'm happy to put one of my, my outlets in, in one of our projects available to you to start selling. For a short period, we do some pop-up stores, okay. so we get available. I, I have a project right on university campus, so that might be available directly to, the, to your clients so people can see us. I also have some other things in Ormi and stuff like that. And I think you need to push this as much as you can. I'm interested because uh, Happy Ports is step one. True because I'm, I'm seeing this growing, and, and I like, I, I'm not high and mighty, but I like people who are high and mighty, so, so <laughs> let's keep it going, and we need to make an impact. I'd like to make you an offer. Sure. But me and George would probably then invest in your sneaker business. <laughs> sure. well, uh, George, Go ahead. He needs to focus on one or the other. Yeah? All right, all right. Bella, I'm not gonna be giving you any loans. Okay. I'm offering 35K for 20% and the royalty of 50 cents from every pot that you sell in perpetuity. Would that also include the tiny pot? Because those are the ones we have the least margins on, so that would give the us quite a bit. The margins are low. We can start from the medium pot and any other products that you produce. Any other products, including garden accessories as well? I would like to make an offer as well. Um, for 35K, for 20%, mm -hmm. plus you can display all the products that you produce in one of our showrooms, furniture, um, household uh, okay. showrooms, and we will be your point of sale. And obviously, you can direct business to this uh, to, to our showrooms to, to sell more products. Okay, thank you. Take your time to think Please, about it. Before you, before you decide, the option, right? <laughs> I just gave you the best offer. Best to be decided. So it's 135k, right? It's 35 for Mark, the business Mark, and 100 up front. Yeah. See, I would guess. You all, would you all excuse excuse us for? But, a but wait for Mark. Uh, wait, wait for Mark. It's going to make it a bit more interesting. I'm, oh. sorry. I'm really sorry. I, I'm not yet prepared for to sure. put forward an offer, but but what I see, especially in you, Chris. I mean, George, I, I just knew you a few minutes ago, so I don't really know your background. But I think your stronghold is creating. I agree. And, and the little I know of you, I mean, you're the, that guy who likes to challenge yourself and creating stuff, not just you know, doing one thing and producing that. So I see that as a strength. Thank you. And uh, in my opinion, uh, I mean, this would be just passing it on and you know, leaving the operation, operational peeping doing the rest. So uh, if I had to invest, I would invest in you, not in the product, Persia. Yeah. And if I had to invest in you, I would invest in you in partnership, whereas I will give you the opportunity to be creative, to be yourselves, and we will develop whatever you want to develop. And that is possibly, if you would be interested, that, it, that is where I will be financing you. So giving you the space, you know, having a salary, a decent salary that makes sense for you both and creating you know in, in this in this setup which will be doing what you need to what you what you really know how to do that means a lot first of all thank you um, so you received some nice four offers yeah. Mike's really good offer Dino's standing at 30, 000, 35 35k for 20 percent and 25 plus 20 20 for 20 percent 
plus, then you can walk out. Christabel's Christabel Zofa, and then there's mine, right. which is uh, the most favorable. <laughs> before and, before and we take some time to think about it, I have one comment about your offer, Chris. Um, quite frankly, I How don't many souvenirs I buy a year? 5,000. No. no. Uh, we don't really need 100,000 euro. You need it. But for the things that we need to put into place for the next three to six months, to it keep is not both of your minds things. engaged, you'd have money right in front of you. You have to see opportunities. If, like, like uh, Alex really guided you, if you want to do something abroad, you need to get these retail brands on board. You need to jump on a plane tomorrow morning and go and meet them and show them the product. You're not seeing this where it could go. Okay. So you need to have that money, that ammunition, which we call dry powder, ready waiting. The, the, the money, the interest starts occurring once you start using the money. To go to a bank, apply for a loan, get, get approved, do KYC, is going to take you six months. What I'm giving you in front of you, an offer which I think is fair, because so far you guys put in 5,000 euros, 5,500, and your time, which is very, very valuable. But I want to come in with 25%, so at least I have some real skin in the game, give you the 35,000 euros to get where you think you need to get to, and then have enough money for us to push really hard to, to, to achieve business. This is going to be like Alex has told you, there's anyone who's going to call what happy might be able to compete with you. This is, a, this is not a play about being the only ones and, and the, being the only ones. This is about who's going to get there first and who's going to corner the market. And I can help you get there. Listen, he's the best salesman on this, <laughs> this planet. <laughs> well, I believe in this. Thank you. Thank you for saying that. Um, I, I thought it was going to be... 100% you are. If it's I a could compliment. Have a chat. Yeah. If I could counter that slightly, before we have the chat, ah. would you be willing to reconsider your offer? without the loan anyways. Would, Sorry, too? Would you be willing to reconsider your offer without the loan? Let's say we do away with the loan. Would you still be firm at 35? Fine, no problem. At and at a lower percentage, naturally? Definitely not. Definitely not. I know my value. We're okay, guys, so, so I have excuse with my arrogance, but this for me to be interesting, you know, I have to dedicate my time and I, have, and, and I really want to push you. And I need to have at least 25%. I would have wanted to have 50% and you guys on board, but I'm not going to go there because I don't think you should give away so much equity at the speed, okay? But where I stand, it has to be 25%. Okay. Think well, think hard, but I think what you need is guidance, mentorship, and just some money to move ahead. Because I don't think this will be the end of your line. You need to be more creative. This is just step one, guys. You have no idea what you've just touched on. You gave me goosebumps, so. Thanks a lot, guys. <laughs> Give us some time. We shall reconvene. <laughs> 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 Mark, how much money? Mark, I will take the flus. Zero. Finance, yeah, flus. Finance, yeah. 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 Finance, Happy. You were really prepared, guys. Even, even the nice. questions that we, were, we asked you had an answer to it. Whoever you choose, hopefully it's me. You did a really good job. <laughs> <laughs> You're a very good salesman. Isn't it? <laughs> um, we came in here expecting good feedback. Uh, we kind of wanted an offer from one of you guys, and we're very happy that we got it. But unfortunately, we have to go with just one. Um, can we negotiate our terms yes, slightly? Yes, we can. Yes. All right. So, I'm ready to update my offer. Okay. You'll have me and Christabel, 40% of the business. I wanted 50, but Christabel is asking me, don't push too much. So we we'll go with Christabel's office, offer, but you'll have two sharks. Right. So at 35, that's 70,000 euros. We have 40, uh, you'll, giving, you'll be giving us 40%. Um, we did not even want to walk out of here with more than 20% equity out, so that is off the table for us. I'm sorry, but we will be willing to give, give out more than 20%. Good man. Um, I would like to somehow negotiate our offer exclusively with you, however. So instead of a 100,000 euro loan, which we may or may not need, I'm sure you're the expert in that, but Without any commitment. would it be possible instead to have a line of credit up to 100,000 euro? It's the same thing. Same thing. 
so that we wouldn't, we wouldn't be paying an interest on the whole 100,000? No, 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 no. When we use it. So if you use only 1,000 euros, the interest is 7% uh, on the 1,000 euros. When you use it and when we top it back up. So, so as soon, it's like an overdraft. So if we need the money, we can turn around and use it. And, but there's a 7% cost. Okay. Uh, and if we don't use it, we're all saving money because obviously the company is paying for it and by, by default I'm paying for it as well. Um, but I'm interested not in the making, the money from the, making money from the interest, I'm interested in seeing you guys go, reach your full potential, which is much bigger than what you're thinking. Are you interested enough to go down to 20%? Change my offer. The same, higher, same higher 35,000 35, in exchange for 20% equity and 100,000 euro line of credit. We'll halfway. Which is? We see the day I'm a limni in the academy, both half and half in Nox, in the Tate Ocean Filmia, in the Nate Hounds Ocean Filmia, number 22.5. 22.5. Well done. Thank you. Bravo, George. 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 B